Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing on this freezing Tuesday morning? Burr. Well, Tuesday evening at this point for you guys, so you're probably Burr. snuggled up mm -hmm. nice and warm in your living room, Got sipping your fireplace lit. on a nice cup of warm coffee. Cocoa. Oh, <laughs> and we're out here freezing. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Hey. I'm glad to go in here because this is going to be a continuation video. We just got done with the snow plow. From this day to that day. So TQ's got something she's got to go do. I'm hoping she'll be able to record. If not, sorry. we'll uh, bring it to you. Yeah. <laughs> she said sorry. <laughs> TQ's not as uh, flamboyant mm. on the recording as I am. I'll record anywhere, anytime, anyone, anything. TQ, not so much. Well, when I just went and got oil sprayed, it, it took a lot. To, out of me to be like, hey, can I? You mind if I just record you? Yeah. And the skid's like, uh, I don't care. I'm you do. Like... You get some weird looks, <laughs> but you did good on that one. Thank you. So if you can, get them a shot of uh, getting some bulk salt. I'll try. I'm gonna go in here and edit, guys. Let's hop into the video. Let's go. Literally sat down here at the desk, guys, and got this text message from TQ. And all I'm going to say about that is something's got to change. So when she gets back here, we're going to talk. We uh, had a plan last year and we kind of abandoned it to focus more on our retirement. But we have things that need done now and uh, things that need to be in place for sure here moving into the future. Because not getting any younger and uh, salt's not getting any lighter. So I guess once she gets here, maybe uh, we'll be right back. So, Ron Spencer Lawn Care things change a lot. <laughs> and it just is what it is sometimes. And yesterday when we ended the video after we did the flaps on the uh, snowplow, I said TQ is going to get some salt. And uh, that's kind of where we were at. Well, TQ ran to get salt and TQ didn't get salt because we thought it was open till four or five. And here they closed at three o'clock. So, and now they're not open on Saturdays. Saturdays or Sundays, just Monday through Friday. Yeah, so this is really putting a pinch on us for the snow season that we've had. We haven't had a, much of one, but what we've had have, we have salt. had, we need salt for, yeah, yeah, salt runs. So, after that happened, she came home. The snow was still coming down a little bit. We didn't get much, but we thought we were gonna have to go on a salt run. So what we did is we loaded up a pallet of salt into the hopper okay so with that being said my legs feel it because as you can see that hopper is a bit taller than myself in tq and we've been talking especially late last night sitting on the couch we're like you know next year we can get through this year but we need to start putting things in place right now moving forward here through the the winter the rest of the winter spring summer fall especially for next winter where we're not dependent on somebody else providing us with bulk salt we because have our own supply. absolutely have to have our own supply now this year guys we were kind of in a pinch for one we didn't know if we were going to get the salt spreader for two we didn't know if we were going to get the truck and this was a large investment on our end that we needed to have as a backup truck or our main truck whatever we decide to do for whatever event but with that being said we cannot be relying on somebody else for bulk salt it's just it's not a we we were like hey coming into the season you know a company here i'm not going to blast them because they're doing what they have to do to survive as well everybody's hurting not having employees everything people sick yada 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 so i'm not going to blast them it's not their fault but we were coming into the winter season expecting hey we were going to have 24 hour service salt bulk salt would be loaded anytime during a storm yeah. and that was that so we were kind of falling on them if you know what i'm saying and expecting that to be there and it's not so now if we're not able to get there during their minimal business hours or if it happens to come on a weekend we're out of luck so we're back to putting bag salt okay so for one i told her we need to get through the rest of this year i know i'm talking a lot but this is a lot to explain guys so we need to for one have bag salt on hand at all times just in case we can't get there or an event comes late in the evening and for two Next year, we need a spot for bulk salt. We need bulk salt. We need a way to load it. So that's what we're gonna actually do real quick is I need to know because I can't order machinery or even place machinery orders 
long term because you need order now if you think you're going to get it sometime this year hopefully i need to know how tall of a piece of equipment i need to dump into that so if any of you guys are loading bulk salt with your skid steers or whatever i don't think a dingo would be tall enough how high do you guys need to get up in there so i'm assuming right here the top of the bins probably six and a half seven feet but you don't want to dump and be too close to the truck and accidentally hit your trucks or anything like that so we're going to get a quick measurement on this tq and then we got a bunch of other little things to get done we got to find us a push spreader guys there is nothing available that is a drop spreader they're all broadcast spreaders and we don't want one of those no we don't all right guys so i just shared with you our concern for next year and what we need to take care of so without really knowing i kind of need to get a general idea of how tall this is exactly so we know what size height we need for say a skid steer dingo whatever we end up deciding to purchase so it looks like the top of it's about six foot so we'd probably probably want to have at least probably nine just to clear it you know with the arms coming down not having to really hug up against the truck i guess you could say uh might be able to get away with a little less eight seven but we know now that we at least need six foot here to uh dump in here so we're pulling in here to cross trucking equipment i'm hoping they're open so i didn't know it they uh they carry buyers here as well so last time i was in here uh is when i plowed for my buddy's company shoot probably i don't even know six seven eight years ago now and he had Meyer stuff and i remember we came here one time because we had to dig a salt spreader out by hand and basically the motor burned up in it so uh yeah that wasn't fun and uh highly recommend you guys to not load your spreaders and drive with them i don't know i don't remember exactly what happened with kenny i don't think he drove with it loaded but i do know we had to dig it out by hand and it was a burned up motor so let's see what they got in here all right guys so they had this one in stock but i told them uh i didn't really want another broadcast spreader because what happens guys is it hits this and then it bounces out around it and uh this is what we we've used about every different brand with these little deflectors and they work okay but you still get quite a bit into the grass and into the landscape bed so we're really trying to reduce that waste <clears throat> so with that being said he looked online and it says online they have a couple myers in stock and their drop spreaders so they're gonna go look for them and see if we can get them i didn't know they sold western here myers salt dog they sell quite a bit of stuff so if you guys are in the air i'd definitely check them out a lot of stuff for semis as well so cbs and all that good stuff tons of fluid stuff wanted to point that out so i totally forgot about this place i haven't been here in probably seven years and it's kind of just in a back off Southway, and I think this is Perry Township, Ohio, but all kinds of stuff. Cleaning, polishing, a lot of stuff for semis as well. But I'm going to wait and see if they can find this one. All right, guys, so no luck. I waited about 20 minutes. Said uh, they had two. They looked for them, they brought one up, and here it was a broadcast as well. Uh, so then they looked online and pretty much nothing available. So back to searching for a drop spreader. And uh, yeah, I got a few other ideas as well, but I was really kind of holding out hope for this one, but it is what it is, supply is thin. And I know a bunch of you were like, yo, couldn't you have just flipped these over to the other side and used them or flipped them upside down and used them and it would have just worked. It would have lined up. You wouldn't have had to drill new holes. Simply guys, no, we checked it. Trust me. So with those coming to a peak here, they're longer, okay? And with our holes being down here, that meant the longer parts were up top on both sides. So the longer parts came in here at the top and then it was opened up like that at the bottom, which wouldn't allow us to put these two bolt holes in, okay? So if we would have just swapped this one over to that side or this one to this side, those longer pieces would have still been at the top. They wouldn't have been at the bottom. So we had to flip it over, if you know what I'm saying. We didn't have a choice. There was no getting around it. These things are angled. So whenever the cuts on here now, these they come down like this, like a V. 
So then it leaves more material here to bolt this top cover flap to. So I wanted to address that real quick. Trust me, we checked it. I wish we could have used the holes, but it's not that big of a deal. I do like using this pallet jack though. This thing is like super convenient. It's come in handy quite a bit. Yeah. Look at that, man. I mean, you're you know, up. Buddy. Anybody need a rubber hammer? <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> We just lose, lost it yesterday in plain sight. It was like, where the heck did it go? Yeah, it slid up under. So I would suggest guys picking one of these up for sure. This is way easier to maneuver your plows around than using, say, a floor jack. Tell me when I'm good up there, TQ. Right there. Right. Like a glove. Way, way easier. <laughs> so, I picked this one up at Menards probably two, three years ago, maybe, just to have here in the closet. And I believe it was 300 bucks, maybe 350, but comes in super handy. So it was Menards, it wasn't Harbor Freight? No, I picked this one up at Menards. Okay, I apologize to the gentleman. I thought it was Harbor Freight, so it was Menards. Someone asked and I thought it was Harbor Freight. I think we went there and they didn't have it, so. I'll put that back here in a second. But uh, yeah, we gotta find us another salt spreader, guys. This one will work, but if we're gonna run that salt, uh, you know, being that it may have a little dampness to it, this one just might not be our best bet, okay? This one's really, really old now, guys, but it's still working. It's, I think it's just getting a lot of crud in it, and whenever you're pushing on those slick, slick sidewalks, it's not wanting to turn it, if you know what I'm saying. So instead of it turning, it's just pretty much sliding. So wouldn't help. I guess it'd probably help if there was some air in those tires. Are they flat? Yeah, they're flat. flat. Oh, I see that. Let's give that a try. So let's <laughs> throw some air in these babies real quick. Honestly, guys, I never knew those took air. I, thought I didn't they were either. Just hard rubber. They're holding though. It's good. I'm gonna do it the other cat. Well, I guess we'll have to try it with the air in the tires. I mean, obviously they put air in there for a reason, right? Yeah, I guess. Not having air in it though would probably make it have better traction. But then again, I mean, let's see if it spins any better. It's still mechanically working. Open and close. Open and close. All right. So, I'm going to work on this some more. We'll try it again. It does need some cleanup in here. But we do want to get a drop spreader as well. So we both can be working at the same time as need be. All right, guys. So at Tractor Supply now, checked about every place I think local that's been recommended to us. So this one's kind of unique. It actually has 
handles on it where you could push it if you wanted to, but it also has an attachment uh, where you could pull it behind. But this just isn't what we're looking for. And it's a broadcast spreader, so both of these won't work. So I'm back. We end up finding more here at Tractor Supply. They're outside Garden Center, but these are still broadcast spreaders. So 125 pound one, 70 pound one. What 70 pound would work for us, we typically will put two bags on our one big commercial. So having a 100 pound one would be nice, but we could manage, but we just have to double back with the 70 pound, but they're still just broadcast spreaders. So I don't want a broadcast spreader like this right here trying to minimize minimize how much goes into the lawn and, and into the landscape deflectors either. yeah these don't have a deflector at all i don't know if maybe it's included but they got some hand ones up there as well just not what we're looking for all right guys so i can't seem to find what i want and a couple that i found online are completely sold out and they're outrageous i'm talking 11 1200 dollars so what we're gonna do is i think i got the chapman here working again uh, so TQ has this rubber material that kind of goes like under the dishes and the cabinets and stuff and it's it's really durable guys So what I'm thinking is on this salt spreader So when the the spreader spins it throws it out and these are supposed to knock it down But what happens is there's big gaps here gaps here gaps here I mean all the way around this whole entire thing and it ends up flinging out into the grass and into the beds and things start dying off. You notice in the springtime, you got a foot of dead grass on the edge of the concrete and that's just not good. We can minimize that if possible. So what I'm thinking, don't know if it's gonna exactly work with what we're thinking, but uh, I'm gonna wrap it around this basically, all the way around to here. And I'll have to do some trimming out back. But what I'm thinking is it will basically catch anything that gets through here and knock it back down. So it's not flinging all over the place like you guys have seen. So what I'm going to actually do is put a bunch of glue on this thing. Gorilla glue. And it is cold out here. So I'm going to take this in the house once I'm done making a mess. But, uh. I want to I wanna get this part on here first, and then I'll do the back probably in the house as well. So, I should probably wipe some of that salt off there, just so it gets a good thick. Should have made that hole bigger on top, or it came out a little quicker. And hey guys, if it doesn't work, what am I out here? A few bucks worth of glue and some rubber material. Seems like it's sticking over there. Yes, as long as you just kind of press it down. We'll probably have to definitely, like you said, take it into the heat and let it dry a little better. Yep. I'm going to put it on its side here real quick. I'll probably have to fix that and maybe put some tape at the top just to hold it till it dries so i know some of you might be like oh this dude's crazy that's gimmicky whatever and honestly it might, it might not work but what does it hurt to try right well heck if the glue doesn't stick then maybe the tape will just work <laughs> you know honestly i was sitting here thinking that in my head like <laughs> why didn't i just tape it <clears throat> Hey, you never know. Maybe I'm inventing something here somebody can make <laughs> and make millions of dollars off of and I'll wind down the road and be like, I created that, I know. <laughs> Just kidding. Just name it the Spencer Net. Spencer Net. Spencer Net. 
salt shield. And send me 3%. That's getting sticky, boy. It's either drying or freezing. One or the <laughs> At this other. point, because it's freezing out. You guys are gonna have to wait till tomorrow's video because this took me way longer than expected <laughs> to find out. 13 minutes. I'll have to do some editing. Yeah, we'll have to do some drying time too, so.